God bless you guys. This is Sean here from Faith Brings Change. I just want to come on here and I want to share something. I mean, this may not interest you guys. Uh, this really marveled me. God quoted a verse to me when I was looking up this parable he was showing me. I thought of something that just randomly popped in my head. And it turns out when I was doing uh, research for this thing, I was going, I, I took a certain number based on what I was looking at. And I just tapped in the number and I tapped all the scriptures up. And, and now where I am right now, it brought me to that exact verse God put in my mind. So the Holy Spirit knew this, and I'll explain what it was. I told you a while back, guys, I had a parable dream of the uh, Neo, representing Neo-Paganism from the Matrix. He shot the body of Christ, and it was Evie from, uh, it was Eve that was turned into Evie for vengeance, as for V for Vandana, and she represented the body of Christ. And if you see her, her set hair is shaved like me, that was for the shaving of her glory off, and how they turn women, as in the body of Christ, they, they've shaved their glory, cut their glory off. It represents them being cut off from their God. And so I saw her, Neo, shooting her. You know, he shot her up with 12 bullets representing the 12 tribes of Israel, north, south, east, and west in her four limbs. And so uh, three in this hand, basically I saw in, uh, the, the red pill is actually a pill to make you uh, go to sleep. It's, it, I can explain that later, but basically, let's just say it was like three right here, three in each hand, you know, because it says north, south, east, and west for the three gates of the tribe, tribes of Israel. It says three gates on the north, three gates on the south, three gates on the east, and three gates on the west, and that's for the four points of the compass. And, and and how you get uh the four you know the two hands and the two feet one of the feet uh going upward because Yeshua showed me even a vision of a foot stepping upward and the sea that the right foot of uh the angel was standing on the sea that represents like the sea of glass as in heaven and the earth as in the earth down here you know and and what I wanted to say now and I'm just going to explain this the two guns. Well, I was looking up this gun to use. What are we going to use for this parable, God? I want it to be biblical. And I found this Model 66. It's a Smith & Wesson. Model 66, like for the 66 books of the Bible, because it's going to be for a parable. And it weighed a, a 4 pounds and 11 ounces. And I was typing all this stuff. And after I got that, I just heard randomly, you're using it for a six-shooter, right, Sean? And I said, yeah. And, and 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 I was thinking of six bullets in this gun, six bullets in this gun for the 12 tribes of Israel. And he just put in my mind the sixth part of a hen. And and, and I and, and I uh, I found that out that a sixth part of a hen is 5.7. And he was saying it's for the fivefold ministry and for the seven spirits of God that are used to accomplish it. And uh, one of the verses of, of the, you know, because like I said, it weighs four pounds and 11 ounces. So one of the verses of, of four, chapter four, verse 11, and one of them actually talks about the fivefold ministry in that 11th verse. It says, and, and the chapter four, of verse 11, I forget which book it's from, but it says, uh, pastors, teachers, prophets, evangelists. It says somebody else, I, I forget who it is. But that's a fivefold ministry. And so so that gun exactly aimed for that. And that, and that Psalm 57 is my favorite, one of my favorite Psalms. God will accomplish what concerns you, you know. But I wanted to say, when I got, after I researched about that sixth part of a hen, I got to, uh, trying to see, I think it was Ezekiel 4, ch chapter 4, verse 11 and remember i told you it weighs four pounds at 11 ounces and it said the sixth part of a hen and so god was confirming that sixth part of water and so six bullets in this one six bullets in that one six part of hen and six part of something else well that's for that uh six part of a hen of water and and also another another chapter for the adverse 11 talked about the woman at the well of samaria and you remember she had five husbands and the sixth was not her husband and that's also for that that water of samaria connect to that sixth part of uh water that uh ezekiel's drinking you guys may not understand this but god's very prophetic with his word and all you got to do is just dice it out how to teach it you know you got to dice out the revelation of it get it very concrete teach it in a very simplistic way but anyways i thought that was neat guys i mean god is doing so much awesome stuff you know and and that gun was discontinued in like 2000. But sure enough, I saw Neo representing his sixth version because this new one is the seventh. I saw the sixth version of Neo. And so that just right there, I just got a revelation for that. God is confirming this, you know, and for, for the number of man, you know. 
in uh, six. Well, well, I told you that gun was discontinued in 2000. Well, that movie was made in 1999, only a year before it's discontinued. So who knows? I'll do a parable that maybe that gun's discontinued after that for representing that or. You you've never you've never thought about this, but angels who who creates these parables, guys, in the Bible? Angels created them. God created them. We're made a little lower than the angels, but but in terms of when we get to heaven, we're equal, made equal with them. We're sons of God, like they are. You know, we're we're uh, of course, you know, we're we're different than them, but yet we're the, we're made one with them, and we we don't understand all that, but. You can actually co-labor, yeah, you can you can make parables. You can, based on inspiration of God's word, if you have enough revelation. And that's one of the things that I'm different than, because he did tell me in January 28th, I was Elijah. That's one of the things I'm different than the other prophets. I'm I'm coming, he told me I was a fulfillment of the prophets. I have, I have obstacles I got to overcome, but he told me I was a fulfillment of that. And we're getting there right now. We're going to. And, um, you know, and so... Uh, I'm kind of doing something different. The other prophets are not. I'm kind of co-laboring. I'm kind of creating what God showed me how to uh, kind of bring things to him that is based off of his word. And he puts them all together for me. I, I, for instance, I say, what about this, guys? God, this looks neat. Why don't you look at all these and, and consider this? And, and, and you may not think God works that way, but he does. He likes to co-labor. I mean, uh, Adam named, you know, all the creation. He was able to name it, you know. God put inspiration in him to do things. And, and we think of, we know the Holy Spirit does our works through us, but there's also a creativeness he puts in us that we co-labor with him. And so I just said, model 66, how about that, God? It's nine millimeter for Revelation 9. You got 66 books in the Bible. That seems pretty cool. And, and then I just decided to take a look at the 411. And it talks about suffering, being persecuted for Christ's sake and, and different chapters. You can see a pattern of, of, of chapter 4, verse 11 throughout the Bible. And it talks about Christ suffering, how we ought to suffer for his sake. And that's all about what the body of Christ is uh, shooting up. It's not just her representing her sin but remember it's it's christ uh dying you know for his body you know on that cross because i saw those bullets go into the person when they were nailed to the cross and it's like some gravitational force pressed them back or something like they were magnetized to it and then uh shot up and we're doing a 20th century uh a parable you know of where the body is gone the last 2000 years since Christ has been, you know, raised, you know, and everything and how it, how us dying or us sinning, you know, we, we were talked about, don't unite the members of the body of Christ with that, with a harlot. Cause it, you're one in that and, and you can unite it to Christ and it's like murdering him all over again. And I've been through that. We've all been through. That's terrible. I mean, there's a danger of being cut off from God, but, um, you know, basically, so I just kind of wanted to um, share that with you, that little parable. I, I thought you might th think it was neat. But I'm going to let you go, guys. God bless you. I pray you're doing good in the Lord. I'm going to keep praying for you guys. Uh, I know some of the stuff is tough on the channel. Some of the stuff is kind of deep. Uh, I just, I'm in, a, I'm in a writing stage, as I said right now. I'm not ready for to do this yet. God told me I had about, you know, at least until 2027. And so I'm not going to discuss all that, you know. But I do know we have a grace period until 2027. As far as when the tribulation is going to happen, um, it's not going to happen before 2027, he told me. That's what he did tell me. You remember Joseph, how he was given a seven-year grace before a seven-year famine? Well, we at least have that time. And he, he told me that to my face. Yeshua told me that. I, 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 he, he told me that to my face. We talked. He told me that. Um, as for the other things... Uh, will something happen for sure? I don't know. All I know is we have a seven-year grace. I'm not going to say more than he told me. I've learned not to say more than he tells me because I could get me in trouble, you know? So I'm just I'm just saying only what he told me, that we have up until 2027 to get everything straight. But as far as individuals go, that doesn't guarantee each individual in the world has up until 2027 because they're not guaranteed their next heartbeat. I'm speaking of the world in general, that the world in general is not going to see a tribulation until 2027. And that's what he told me face to face. But I am going to let you go now, guys. I love you guys. I'm praying for you. Um, uh, just take care of yourselves, guys. Until next time, shalom.